Channel 4 News with five-time Emmy Award-winning anchor, Ron Burgundy. Cham Kine Sports. Rick Tamlin Weather. And your reporter in the field, Brian Fantana. It's Channel 4 News at 6 o'clock. Good morning, Loveland High School. Today is Monday, September 15th. I'm Joel Spencer. And I'm Macy Ray, and these are your morning announcements. <coughs> Shantytown 2014. Loveland High School will be participating in the citywide Shantytown event to raise awareness and educate our students about hunger and homelessness. The goal is for youth to raise awareness of poverty and homelessness through a one night without a home, sleeping out. Our Think Outside the Box event will take place on the evening of Friday, October 17th at the high school. Forms are due to Ms. Wexler by the end of the school day tomorrow. Hi, I'm Marissa Wood, President of International Club. We have our first planned meeting this, this Wednesday, the 17th, in room 123. Many, many college representatives are coming to LHS in the near future. Check out the list in Naviance under the College tabs to see who is visiting. The reps meet with groups of students interested in getting more info directly from the source. You must sign up 24 hours in advance using the link in Naviance. Take a look soon so you don't miss out on this opportunity. Attention all sophomores and juniors taking the SAT or PSAT this year. Registration forms for the PSAT review course are available now in Mr. Hutzel's room 110 and Ms. Burkett's room 355. The deadline to register for the class is tomorrow. See Mr. Hutzel or Ms. Burkett ASAP to get the registration form and reserve a spot in the class. Tigers in Service needs a few students for cool school lunches on Tuesday, September 16th and Thursday, September 18th to assemble and pack the lunches. If you're interested, please meet in room 203. Attention all freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Your class shirts will be on pre-sale this week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for $8. So make sure you get a shirt. Okay, so we're here to open up the suggestion box. You ready for these awesome suggestions? It'll blow everyone's mind. There's nothing. Put stuff in the suggestion box, guys. Athletics! Boys and girls bowling. There will be a bowling meeting on Wednesday, September 17th, right after school in room 219. If you play in a fall sport or have another school commitment, then please stop by for a moment to sign in so we know that you are interested. The first mini golf outing of the year will be this Sunday. See Katie Parks if you have any questions. Congrats to Girls Varsity Volleyball for their two big wins last week against Kings and Milford. Way to go. Shout out to Boys Soccer. You guys are leading the ECC and you're on a winning streak. Nice wins against Lakota East, Milford, Anderson, and Glenesky. Way to go, guys. Girls Soccer is currently in second place in the ECC behind Walnut Hills and is ranked number eight in Division I in Cincinnati. They had a win against Campbell County, Anderson, Butler, Glenesky, and Lebanon. Good job, girls. Boys Golf, you guys are number one in the ECC, and you're currently ranked number six in Cincinnati. Way to go, guys. Girls Golf is currently ranked second place in the ECC, beating Northwest with the medalist Haley Florence and Anna Vike, and against Wyoming with Anna Vike as a medalist. Good job. Congrats to Boys Cross Country for placing eighth in the Eaton Invitational on Saturday. Girls Varsity Cross Country is currently ranked seventh in Division I at Cincinnati. Shout out to the football team for winning this past Friday against Oak Hills. You guys are ranked number seven in Division Two in Cincinnati. Great job, guys. Keep it up. Oh.